on the overall. Cheers. How was it? I mean, this was probably one of the toughest races of the year. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Um, you know, the route itself is hard as well, but I think the wind today played a big factor. Um, you know, we had to be on the toes right through the whole race today. And there was a few places for potential crosswind and there was a couple of times and it like it was in pieces and the group kept going and then you'd kind of shut off again everyone would kind of like you know you'd, you'd have that kind of like uh, you know the lull or whatever and then kind of get a bit of a regroup then before the climb again uh, before it all kicked off again so it was like on and off all day full gas stop start um, until eventually it all sort of came down to that final climb then on the run back in again now did I see that you were away away on your own not on your own but in a group off the front for a while uh that would be i think that was ben before the climb the main oh, climb right. so so we played it really well actually i mean it was great to have ben there to because we, we were a bit short on numbers really compared to the other teams so yeah. um you know ben sort of got ahead of the race before that last climb and yeah. um, we just caught him and i think it was and one of the swift lads as well over the top of the climb yeah. so um, that made five of us going into the finish which um, you know like to have Ben in front group and that to have another rider there is always really helpful so were you in the first five or the second five that caught them so there was a there was a group of four going into the climb yeah. and then I think that split came down to two and then me Matt Holmes and James Shaw got across to them too right, so you were in that five that in got caught front. close to the line it's, yeah that yeah, must yeah. be a bit disconcerting yeah, it was a bit annoying really because we, we had a time gap, I think it was like 30 seconds at one point yeah. and we thought like that was done, that we were going to the line, the five of us, mm. so to look behind to like demoralise and like mm. when you, when people get back on but um, no, I mean it was a hard chase for them as well probably so I think everyone was kind of in the same boat, um, always annoying when it comes back but you know I think it was just down to sprint at the end then. And how does this race compare to the pro races you've done in Europe? Cause I have heard that the level here is quite high now. It is, yeah. Like they're definitely not easy races. It's just mm. it's a completely different style of racing. To be honest, mm. it's like um, you know you can't switch off from start to finish, and you've got to kind of be like in the race on the front foot all the time. You don't get that time mm. where there's a break gone. You can just relax in the peloton or anything like that. So um, you got to be on your toes, and it's a, it's a really aggressive style of racing, um, which kind of takes a bit of getting used to again. To be honest, but um, yeah, good day out today for the team. And, yeah. And a, and a result like this, Organ Wells for um, the Manx three day? Yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's like got an eye on that as well to the end of the mm. end of the summer. It's like um, all goes towards the British Tour Britain qualification as well. So, yeah. you know, we have to have one eye on that as well. But I think we can only take it race by race really at the moment and just, mm. you know, take each week, weekend as it comes with as a new start and try and do the best we can each race. And then hopefully with that will come the, you know, qualification at the end but it's really tight at the minute so we just can't really take the foot off the gas. And finally how much pressure do you as a rider feel knowing that when you go into a race that you know, yeah. you've, got to, you've got to come up with a result for the team? A little bit yeah I mean, I mean there's probably like quite a bit of pressure anyway I mean we, you know we're here to like do the best we can we want to get a result anyway so but that's just like an added like you know you've got to keep that in the back of your mind look around at the other teams and you know teams that you're close to in the table and all the rest mm -hmm. of it and just to try and get one up on, on them if you can. Uh, but yeah, I think pressure-wise you, you kind of want to get the best of yourself anyway in the races so um, you've got that natural kind of pressure anyway. And for those on the rock, where do you live now? Uh, Falmouth Tower, <laughs> yeah, just, which is right by the airport, that's handy, down yeah. south. First time I've been out, out of Douglas so um, it's a bit of a change but it's all the way down Balasala, it's a 10 minute drive out of Douglas so it's miles away. <laughs> <laughs> it's still on the rock though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>